I'd worked on a play with Christopher and Sam two or three years ago, so I was just like handing them the script and calling them up, and they said yes. Colin, obviously from Bruges, we said we wanted to do something again as soon as we finished doing that. Uh, Woody I'd known for years. Tom Waits, I almost did a did a something in the theatre with him. So uh, so everyone was first choice. Abby and Olga, similarly. Um, yeah, I guess it's rare that all of your seven first choice psychos. <laughs> if you work with good actors, you know they care about good scripts. They care about nice dialogue, and they don't want to. They don't want to come up with stuff unless you know they they need to. What I've learned is uh, from this process was uh, just getting off my high horse a little bit and uh, recognizing that as a director, whatever gets an actor into the scene is uh, uh, and, and gets into the truth of the scene is equally valid. Mm -hmm. So Sam, for instance, would always improv improvise a few lines just before we set action and then uh, uh, he'd go off and stick to the script. Or he, or in rehearsals, he'd you know improvise around, and uh, as would you know the other guys. But then some of that lovely stuff would end up as being usable, um, and particularly the uh, the end of the uh, the cemetery shootout scene when the boys are discussing how they feel about the script layers and moving, and lots of that was uh, we just let the cameras roll, and lots of that was improvised. We were determined to make it here, even though they were telling us that tax breaks and other things would make it uh, uh, better to uh, to not film it here, which which mm -hmm. seemed crazy. Because I do believe in uh, the town being a major character, and in, in you know you don't you don't write it to be set here and not think about those issues. S similarly with Bruges, you know, it was always going to be. If we weren't allowed to make it in Bruges, I'd have scrapped the whole thing. I wouldn't have put it in Vienna or, or elsewhere. And similarly, similarly with this, it had to be. It's a you know, it's a film about, in some ways, Hollywood, so uh, it had to be set here. But I wanted to, uh, I guess, explore some areas of LA that hadn't maybe been uh, been been seen before or for a few years. I guess all, most of the characters in the film are from the underbelly of or struggling. You know, no no one's really made it. So I wanted to explore where would those characters live. So we found places in uh, Silver Lake and Echo Park, and uh, uh, and then little spots around uh, Venice Beach. That uh, I guess the Venice Beach stuff had been filmed before, but we found a perfect little house that was kind of a crappy and low rent place, but it had a curiously had a beautiful vista over downtown, mm -hmm. um, but also. Uh, Joshua Tree was always uh, a major element of the film to to be to set the the beginning in a very urban, uh, almost depressing um, gangster milieu. Uh, first time I've ever used that word milieu, and <laughs> uh, but then go to a kind of almost Sergio Leone type uh, vista, mm -hmm. which which the. Joshua Tree has in buckets. But we only got to actually film it. For some reason, the national parks don't let you explode cars and shoot each other in the park itself. So we had to film in some e equally beautiful spots outside of Lancaster and Palmdale. I, I've tried to make my plays as cinematic as, as I possibly could. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but you kind of know if it's a play, if it's more or less set in a room or a couple of rooms, and there are four or five characters, you know it's going to be in in that territory whereas uh, the 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 landscape of this and the city of bruges made these uh, uh have to be films y you can write a kind of a character like uh, hans and hope that uh, and he's, he's got a lot of crazy stuff to say and he's a pretty off the wall individual but uh the uh the humanity that comes across from Christopher's performance, particularly, uh, is is nothing that you ever know. You know, obviously from the script, you you you, you don't know where brilliant actors are going to take your work. So that is the, those aspects of it are uh, always the most joyous and uh, life affirming. <laughs>